Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, the good old uh, Phoenix Point Legendary Playthrough Blind. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing exactly that. It's time for an attack on a Pandoran lair. Uh, we need to kill a spawnery, yep, and neutralize an entire lair. And we got our prime team for that, which is good. They just freshly came out of a mission. And I can see apparently there is no upper limit. Well, maybe there is. I don't know. Uh, there seems to be no upper limit on strength. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, we already have 32 strength uh, here on the Butcher Owens. We're going to find out. Uh, one other thing to test is on armor on mounts. No, he can't take anything on the helmet, can he? No, he cannot. Would have been too cool. Okay, well, we're ready to uh, go into the hive. Good, we landed in the middle. Oh, look at that. Even got the spawnery right in front of us. Couple of eggs, couple of enemies. Okay, cool. Well, I can tell you. Everybody is ready up. Then moving over to here. And then giving everybody plus 20 armor. How far does that last uh, range? Okay, well, could move all the way to here with Grell. <clears throat> Let's try to get the stones away. Well, that's a good start already. I like it. Billy G helps grill out. to do is shift over actions. Euler does exactly that. Grell is slowly but surely destroying the uh, obstruction and now we have also destroyed a couple of the pots it is already bleeding great moves up I think you can't really beat one action point to uh, actions anyways. That's another pot disabled and whilst we're at it. We're hitting even more. So that thing is Pretty worn down. One, two, three, four.
Strength moves up. We're continuing with massive damage. Disabled yet another pot. And let's try to hit that last pot. I think it was a hit, not sure. Almost. Could have done that beforehand. The good old uh, damage improve uh, increase. Let me get that straight. This uh, thing is going to die in turn one, and all we need to do now is get out of here. Sounds easy enough. Enemies didn't even know where we are. We came in uh, five or six, no more, eight or nine uh, grenades were launched, a couple of sniper shots, done. The Triton is looking, uh, looking at the uh, spawnery and is like, what has happened here? All right, Grell needs more actions, but that's not a problem. We'll get her safely out. Yeah, the endgame missions become laugh laughably easy if you think about it. Because really, what what are the enemies going to do? Not much, right? A couple of mutagens, sounds like a good idea. That baton isn't bad either. Yeah, there is no more direct loot in the proximity. Dash is out. And just giving frenzy to the rest, uh, to the only other one that matters, uh, that hit, didn't have frenzy yet. Alright, yeah, the, the Prime team, I don't know, I mean it, they are on a different level at this point. 50 armor on all of the body slots and 300, like 20, 30 hit points. The ability to just run across the entire battlefield, uh, immediately spot out the spawnery, eight grenades, pop, 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 and then just after, uh, after that, uh, run back out. That is pushing it. Could they be a even a little bit better? Yes, some of uh, the uh, character concepts, if I was to do it again, would looked uh, would have looked different. Uh, for instance, Grell with her adrenaline rush, I would have given her the head to make her immune to days. That way, we wouldn't have the the down uh, the downside on the next turn. 
but that's minor because uh, you could now you could now be unhappy about it the reality is that in most of the cases it doesn't really matter because uh, things are dying before that really begins uh, begins to uh, to matter staying near here because we're almost done with our next helios <clears throat> there we go next helios goes into born in the usa and now we can shift around uh, soldiers Good, time for the next mission. The squad just never rests. All right, let's go. I gotta clear out the infestation once again. Number one and number two. A little bit of buffing. The typical annoying little somethings in the corner. One down. Two down. Very good. Uh, let's use Grell. figure out where the enemies are good we figured that out shattered realm moves up euler helps shattered realm and Shattered Realm begins to sprint up. One, two, three, okay, easy. Wow, she really survived a single hit. I guess that, that is a thing. Let's rather be safe than sorry. Um, sprinting to here. What am I missing? Can't really hit the acid worm. Well, now it worked. Okay, cool. Moves up. Still haven't found anyone. All right, peekaboo. Knock knock who's there. It's Shattered Realm. The Grim Reaper himself. Okay, got an idea. How about remove oh yeah, oh right. That and that, and a little bit of uh, that here. <clears throat> Very good. 
then a bit of that. Which nicely brings us to this here. And somehow we must have missed someone. Pretty sure that side is clear. Ian moves over. It's going to be the second Grim Reaper here. I mean, look, they technically could be around the corner there. Oh yeah, two up here. Okay, cool. It's funny how this whole game has more and more become a hide and seek. Instead of an actual uh, challenge, we re uh, have re gotten all of our actions. So yeah, Prime Team Prime Team is super overpowered at this point. Little improvement potentials unless there is uh, maybe there is a mod that allows you to just mod all three body parts, which I think there should be because the limitation to two is quite stupid. But in in the base uh, version, I would potentially for the Berserkers get the anti days head that would be helpful. I would get another head uh, that uh, mm, that just regains willpower because that actually is quite helpful. Yeah, but other than that, it seems like a very well working machine. Morocco. Um, satellite uplink, yes. Fabrication plan, yes. And a bit of a mist repellent. It's all we need. <clears throat> Good. So. There's another Pandoran layer, by the way. They are only supportive. They should have really liked the fact that I destroyed the Pandoran Lair. So are we going to do that or alternatively we could fly all the way over here, open another Phoenix base or over here. Well, that's potentially not worth it. Nah, by reconsidering, I think we're just going to do the Pandoran Lair. And apparently willpower is determined by the number of rounds that you're fighting. And since we kill everything within one round, we actually can do quite a few missions back to back to back. Okay, so Helios 10 finally arrived, which kind of uh, tells me one, two, three, 
four into one. One, two, three, four into the other one. Then we're using Tiamat, and Tiamat is now going to become our quote-unquote trading vessel. The other two can trade as well, but mainly they can deliver the B team faster from A to uh, from A to B. Very good. At the end of the day, we want to finish the research, which is really what we're trying to do. But so many things are happening at the same time. This time, uh, in terms of resources, just going to wait. Oh, and finally, our production of, of my secret plan to get a bit more asset technology is taking hold. I like it. Maybe we'll see at least one mission with the asset team before the game ends. You never know. Good. Crew of Helios at 9 and 10, uh, 10 and 11, which is the B team. They are ready. Just double checking. They're all level uh, 7 already, right? So, yeah. 7, 7, 7, 7, yeah. I mean, there is almost no reason uh, to go anywhere else. Trading happens automatic, uh, quote unquote, automatically. Uh, we, I mean, I could fly up here, I suppose. Oh, you know what? Let's do the following. Tiema two goes there, picks up a single soldier, and then just goes to the protein field. And the Helios is now fast enough to reach all of the locations anyways. Very good. Uh, yeah, we do have a firm hold on the world. I mean, the other bases are now slowly but surely getting up and running. Pandora Nest has been discovered. Oh, yet another one. Interesting. Well, what a coincidence that team number one is almost there. Good. Born in the USA. We're born in the USA. Just has a gudut. But that's gudut enough for me. Flying a few circles. This is Crew Haven. Yeah, the Sinidran Havens are the worst. Good, another spawnery. How do we do on time? I think we can actually do another spawnery. So, might as well deploy. So, a few more hit points here and there. Very good. Across the board, just making everyone tankier. Uh. 
doesn't change the individual hit points that uh, each of their body locations have, I think, but uh, overall, yeah, just having 330 hit points, like, that's almost, uh, that's more than, that's 160% of what the soldiers normally have. So that's quite good. Okay, so we landed uh, yet another spawnery. Um, and yet again, we see where the spawnery is located. Well, let's see if we can pull something similar. Good old frenzy. And then electrical reinforcements, just like that. I learned my lesson. We're doing it never without that. Tell you what, I think we are just going to destroy the these guys here. And then we're going to kill the spawnery. So let's start. Um, moves up here. One and down. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, oh, yeah. We definitely want to make sure that we can get this guy down. Oil up, sprints up. Where do we find all of... Okay, over here apparently. Oiler moves further. But yeah, we definitely need to kill the artillery here. Don't want to deal uh, with acid damage. We're weak against that. Continuing to <coughs> charge into here. Dilly moves up. Dilly continues to charge up. And let's just make sure that the onslaught uh, goes on. One kill. Bit of extra loot is never wrong. Uh, let's use that and that. Yeah, I don't think we. Yeah, well, maybe that. Okay. Jumps over. How many will points do you have left? <clears throat> well, we haven't killed enough then. There's a small spawnery up here. Okay, so. Ian takes the other side. Ah! 
Drang supports him. Ian moves over here. Then we do a little jumpy jumpy. Uh, we need that. <clears throat> and let's start. Good. War cry against the respawn. A slick little kill. Oh yeah, this is going to hurt. Moves to here. <clears throat> we'll get you next uh, turn. Grell. Starts to reduce the cover. <clears throat> yeah, once once we're reduced, uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to use uh, the turret. That just takes too long to get it back up. Shadow Realm double checks, no one here. And that's end of turn. New Siren comes in. Can't we slash that big thing? Seems counterintuitive to me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Good rage burst took. I took down half of the hit points of that thing. Wow, holy moly. Resilient, holy. need to care too much about that. I would rather do Adrenaline Rush now.
Ah, uh, we need to also shred. That's a problem. Okay, hmm. How do we want to do that? Can't shred with adrenaline rush. Well, I mean, one thing that we could do is just explode it, but that would be too far away. I think we're just going to go with the piercing sniper. It's still dealing so much damage. By the way, Increase the damage against it, and just out of curiosity, if we were to hit that, hmm. Shifting over more to Grell, because it's a more efficient way of using our actions. <clears throat> Good, we disabled the shell. That means since it was disabled, Dilly G has effectively just removed all of the armor. And since most of our weapons are highly accurate, we can actually just continue shooting. This time without the problems of a shell. Oh, so much damage. I like it. Good, everybody slowly can move out. And just for shits and giggles. Good, fantastic. Unless we're mind controlled uh, by the siren, we should actually be fine. moves to there dash all the way to here helping Grell to move out and Jarenx uh, goes out himself a little bit of uh, extra damage here a little bit more <laughs> That's such a nice skill. And yeah, we're on our way out. Speaking about which. Not yet. Now 
now we can go. Euler moves. Grell moves. And uh, Dilly G moves. Not only have we killed every single one, we've also destroyed the spawnery in like two turns. Plus cleared an entire map. Like I mentioned, it's completely crazy just how strong uh, the prime team was. The rage burst uh, with uh, the acid weapon dealt like half of uh, the hit points of that thing and put 360 acid on it. That means 360 armor every single round, uh, which is gone. And once that is gone, you're taking hit point damage. So that in itself is a crazy ability. I could have just left that thing uh, standing there for a few rounds and it would have died. I was a bit disappointed that our strikes with a scyther were not able to uh, hit the spawnery. Okay, um, tell you what, we're still good. <clears throat> we're still good. Research complete. All base facility output is increased by 50%. It's just come to our attention that New Jericho has created an enslaved artificial intelligence, presumably to help West run his little military empire. Well, great. What is your problem, guys? I am single-handedly defeating the aliens, and all you have to do, uh, all you're doing is bitching around about different ideologies and starting war with one another that is completely unhelpful the faction in this campaign are so wildly obnoxiously designed i am missing words for it there they are partially just incompetent their decision making is unbelievable. And I have to wonder what is even going on. But maybe all of the smart people died out and left these lunatics in charge. Maybe, who knows? Let me think something else through real quick. So, um... We have Temple of uh, Iana. It has been said that... Down here, they are producing somehow the moon uh, mission. I don't know if that's an alternative ending, if we're now even racing uh, with all of uh, the different factions. I don't know. It... Then we do have Tobias Vest's Great Wall and the AI that we've now created. Again, not 100% sure um, what that actually means. In terms of research, Temple of Iana is being researched. That's also what we're doing. Can I build a building? Is there something else that I'm missing? Living quarter, storage, access lift, medical bay, mutation lab, food production, cyber labs, Containment, archaeology, oh, 
No, there is not. I am confused. This game just does not make sense on so many levels. Anyways, in confusion, I will end uh, the uh, episode and next time we're going to stomp a Pandoran uh, nest and hopefully then a couple of other things as well. Uh, maybe we're flying down here to get that. Nah, we don't have the necessary material. I actually think prime team number one should get over here, which is where most of the action seems to happen. So yeah let's uh let's get the nest hopefully next time and uh, fly back how far are these yeah, they are down to 25. it's not critical yet but they need a rest from time to time cool if uh, you want to rest uh, as well then you do have two uh, days until the next mission is going to air in the meantime think about clicking the like button and uh, see you soon bye bye